is going on YouTube? So we're coming at you with another Rusted gameplay. Today, we are doing something a little different. I've been seeing a lot of people complaining about upkeep lately. Um, that's probably a topic for a different time, which I probably will make a video on just talking about it. Maybe with another YouTuber or streamer who thinks upkeep's crap. I like upkeep personally. But a, a thing also is that, like, you can't be creative with it anymore. I mean... I, I think I've seen some of the most creative base designs yet since upkeep because it forces you to do some creative things like building smaller bases that are extremely hard to raid. So I've come up with this base um, the other day um, and I, I, I don't normally like sharing my base designs. Um, I mean, you could probably get them from uh, my videos but you know still because i find that any time a youtuber uploads a base design on youtube you just see that fucking base everywhere so this base is manageable for a solo and easy for a duo and at a minimum it's a 16 rocket raid you can build it from a starter i'd recommend doing that with a duo though but um if you're a solo i rec also recommend starting from a two by two i think from memory this base is a, uh, a it's under 5,000 metal frag upkeep, and that's it once it's completed, which is super easy. That's like 20 minutes of farming. Wood might be a bit of an issue, like if you don't like farming wood, but if you live near outposts, trade in 5k stone for 15k wood, boom, done. You're sorted. But all right, let's uh, start off with this base design then, I guess. So you're going to start off with a triangle, square, square, and then you're going to connect a triangle to that triangle and put another square here and here. So that's how it starts off. Now you're gonna raise this triangle here. You're gonna put another triangle there. You're gonna put a square there. Triangle there. Triangle there. You put a triangle there. Square there. Triangle there. And then you're gonna come down here and put a triangle down there. So that's what it looks like to begin with. Now we're just gonna put a half wall here. And then a whole wall there. Uh, just all the way around. Do these ones like so. Bing, bada boom. Sorry, you want a half wall. So you want a half wall on this one. Then a whole wall here. Boom, done. So we're going to put our doorway here. Doorway there. Wall there. Put a ceiling on that. Wall there. Half wall. Half wall. 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 So this is the inside of your base right now. What we're going to do... So we're going to put a half wall here, here, and here. I'm going to grab some shelves. Now what you want to do is just stand on this. And you're going to put a shelf on top of this shelf. It can be a little tricky to get sometimes. Like that. And do the same over here. Excellent. Look at that. Double decker shelves. That's pretty cool. Okay, so we're going to put a triangle there. Now, I'm going to change this to twig because you don't really want this upgraded. So this is how I put my shelves on. Put that there. Jump up here. And I'll just put a twig there. Did I say shelves? I meant boxes. This is how we put our boxes on. We've got our boxes. What we'll do is we'll just stand on this. You want to start off with the top two because I'll show you why in a minute. All right, top two are on. Let's get rid of this. Excellent. We'll put our roof on. All right, roof is on. Shelves are up. Okay, now this is why you wanted to do the two boxes first, because if you wanted to do your doors first, if you don't have all your boxes ready, um, what you're going to do is double door, double door. Put that up there, that up there. And then you will... You wouldn't be able to place the boxes up there with these walls. So all I'll do is place all our boxes. Voila! Done. Now, also, you want to get these upgraded to sheet metal pretty quickly. Depending on which way they bust in from, you know. Normally, I'd actually have them facing this way to begin with. But, uh, yeah. So you want those sheet metal pretty quickly. Okay. So, also, TC in this room here. Done. Get our tier 2 workbench. Like that. Now we'll do tier 3 later on. Put a ceiling on that. Awesome. Okay. So this is what we have so far. See how it's looking like on the outside. Pretty good. Chuck that there. 
Let's just uh, finish the airlock real quick. Excellent. There's that done. Throw on these. Give them one of these. And one of those. So now you've created a one-way airlock. So if anyone tries going deep on you, they're immediately stopped there. So this is what we have at the moment. So I have tried this base on a live server. And what I had was... I had a door here. Here. And then I walled it there. And then I had my doors here, here, and here. Um, they actually were satchel raiding, so they didn't know which way to go. That way it looks like it goes into the base more than that. So they went through here, and then they were blocked from here. And this wall was actually sheet metal at the time as well. You also want to make sure... Sorry guys, there's one thing you need to do before um, placing your TC. So what we'll do is we'll just sort of destroy this wall. We need to destroy this TC, right? I should have mentioned this at the start. I forgot all about it, personally. We'll put that there. You'll want to upgrade this foundation to sheet metal. So you can just do it from the inside here so you know which one it is. Upgrade that to sheet metal. Otherwise, um, you're going to be blocked. All right, let's uh, put our TC back down. Excellent. So yeah, you can have you can have this um, airlock here, like these doorways going to... I, had a, I think I had a sleeping bag in here. And a small box with a double barrel and some buckshot in there. So, like, if they're going through this way, I might be able to spawn in here, come around and bang, bang, bang. But, you know, you don't, also don't have to do that. I mean, it's eight satchels to get to this part and then, like, eight rockets once that's fully sheet metal. So, what I would do is... I'd just upgrade it. And then, um... Put a wall there. Upgrade. Wall there. So that's that. So now we're into this part of the base. I'm gonna grab our furnaces. And you wanna place, you wanna start from this corner here. I'll tell you why shortly. So you can't fit any more furnaces in there. But I had a, uh, I think, I think I had a barbecue in there and a campfire. There we go, barbecue, campfire. Okay, so you got that there. Um, let's uh, put our garage doors down. So there'll be garage doors there, there, there. On here. Also want to do that. Garage door here as well. And you can sheet metal this off now if you wanted, but if you don't have the resources, you can just also put another ceiling there. Okay, so this is what we are at so far. How much does that cost us? 16.4k stone, 3.2k wood, and 1700 metal frags. Not bad so far. What's next? We're going to put our garage doors on. So... With this room here, if you really wanted, you could do this. You could do the whole bloody, the window thing. I, I don't really like doing it. You do that. But for me personally, I might just put a garage door there. Okay, excellent. Um, next up, let's have this shelf. We'll come up here. Uh, actually, we probably want to, I think we want to place the bed first. So let's do that. Just put some half walls there for now. Make sure they're twig, of course. All right, we have a shelf. Grab our boxes. We're going to put the top one close as we can to the wall, and this one further back. So, what we're going to do is we're going to put this. Okay, we're not. We're blocked. So this. I think it was that. All right, fuck it. We'll, uh, we'll do it again. All right. So we got the shelf, the box again. Uh, turn it around as well, so that bar right there at the top is facing you push that to there and here put some code locks on those boxes easy all right now name this bed shooting floor so how this works is so you're getting online raided whoever if you're playing as a duo one person can only be up here you might be able to fit two bags up here i don't know but it'll get too cramped anyway so one person put a bed up here that these whatever and then, um, you can spawn up here and, uh, you know, get your kid out of this box. So you'll be down there, you can actually get that box from down there, put some kits in, spawn up here, put them down there, whatever. Um, so this is your shooting floor. It's got pretty good visibility. Stand up, see you down and stuff. I like it. I think it's cool. And to get out, obviously, you have to die and spawn in a bag. Also, with that garage door on now, you can even open and close it at your own will. Say they're into that furnace area, you could probably, they'll probably, they'll be expecting you to be down. And then you sit here and just bang, 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 you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Alright, now door placement. 
Let's get to door placement. Do you want that one to come in? And that one to go out? Just so it creates one-way airlocks. If someone's busting through your doors while you're online, you know, you could always open it and try and shoot them without them getting through. Same goes for here. You guys know how these work. Like so. So now we're going to add our shotgun traps. You can never have enough shotgun traps. Not really in the way. Get through easy. This one will go here. Now, the thing I was talking about earlier, like why I explained why the furnaces had to be like that, because it's harder to see the shotgun trap from here. I mean, you can still see it if you know what you're looking for, but if the furnaces start from this side, you can actually slip down the gap, and I think you might be able to drain it, but if not, I don't think it's going to shoot you, or it's not going to kill you anyway, and you'll be able to see it. You want to really surprise people with this. And a way to conceal this, I just put two boxes like that. So, you know, you're coming in, you see, oh, two boxes. You're like, you're not really crouching or anything. And then, BAM! If you want, you can have, like, shotgun traps at the front here and all of that. I recommend having at least one here. Yeah, just there. Easy. All right, this is the base. So far on the outside, still looks the same. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to add the honeycomb in all the right places. So, honeycombing. I'd even recommend having some honeycombing around here. Because they could just bust in. Because they could just bust in and like here and, you know, they're into your airlock then. Like, into your furnace room. So what we want to do is we want to turn this into a 16 rocket raid. So what these do, really, it, it, it really just cuts them off um, for rocket raiding. So, say they bust through the wall here. Let's just finish signing coming real quick. All right. So let's just say they bust through the wall here. They're going boom, 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 boom. They're not going to be able to take out these walls here. They'll have to decide whether they want to go top or bottom just because of these being here. So you want to put these in. Um, you're going to have to upgrade these two and all of these, really, if you like. Yeah, you're going to have to upgrade all of these. Not necessarily the foundations because you can get them from the outside. But all of it to sheet metal, but yeah. I've got a little plug in that's gonna allow me to just upgrade it all in one go. Done. That's that honeycombing done on the outside. Now the honeycombing on the, the roof. And I wanna put it here. And I'd say to about there. You also want it up here. like so just outlining your initial foundations that you had now to also again like i said with the triangles it cuts them off you're gonna want to put high low walls all through this you're gonna need the metal frags to begin with because you want to seal this in pretty asap so you definitely need to metal frag these inside half walls same goes for over here Just because you're going to seal them up, like, now. You're probably also going to want enough to do these roofs as well, the ceilings. Which isn't that much, really. Alright, there's all that. Slap on your roofs, your ceilings. Okay, excellent. Now that's what your base should look like with the honeycombing done. That's your base done. Really. All you have to do is just get metal frags and upgrade it now. So what we're going to do is we're going to upgrade all this. Alright. In the end, it's going to cost you 25,830 metal fragments and 6,474 wood. It's a base you can keep building though from the very start. You could even uh, do this main part here. As sheet metal and then honeycomb it for stone for ages. I mean, I've managed to build this base solo. It's pretty easy, especially when you're just going with stone to begin with. Let's have a look on the inside. I want to do a, a, a run through because you can also keep upgrading this as you go along. So this is how it all looks sheet metal on the inside. It's good. It's pretty good. Can't actually access this furnace, so don't panic. Um, also, I forgot to show you, you know, put a couple more furnaces down here. You're going to be able to fit 10 furnaces in this base. I mean, you could fit more, but you don't want to be cramped now. And you can just put a small box down there too. So, let's have a look at the upkeep. 
Where are we? In here. This is the upkeep. I think you'd be pleasantly surprised for a six stand rocket raid. Just under 5k metal frags. 4,930 metal frags. You can farm up that metal ore in like 20 minutes. That's why I think this is a solo player base or a duo. That's all the upkeep is. You know, if you want to sheet metal anything, go ahead. I mean, sorry, if you want to armor anything, go ahead. I mean, if you can get armored doors, that's a bonus. It's going to cost you high qual. Now, I'd recommend only adding to this base with stone. You don't really... Like, metal frags just take a while to cook up and stuff. Stone is easy as fuck to get these days. So let's just speed this up real quick. Voila. That's the walls done. Uh, what's the upkeep now? So it's actually increased our metal upkeep. I think that's a thing in Rust. Uh, it shows, like, if the more stuff you have, the like, even if it's not relevant, the higher the cost goes. Let's see. Um, let's have a look again. 5.9k. Let's see what happens when we add the rest of our stone honeycomb. And that's how the base looks now. Yeah, definitely increased my metal upkeep. So, the bigger your bases are, this is a good lesson for the people who also complain about upkeep. The bigger your bases are, the more it actually costs, even if you're not using heaps of that resource. So that's when it starts getting into the uh, duo region, I think, with all that stone honeycomb. Very manageable. The cheapest way to raid now is if they have sheet metal doors. So it'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven sheet metal doors. And then, um, let's just say they have rockets now. One, two, we'll put those together because rocket splash damage. And then three. Three garage doors. So that's nine rockets. What's seven times four? Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight satchels. Nine rockets to raid this. Or seven. Seven rockets plus nine is... 15 rockets plus all the explosive bullets for the doors as well. So it's a 16 rocket raid through the doors pretty much. Let's just say it's going to cost about 16 rockets worth of GP. So that's the situation for the doors. I'd probably even add um, some stone honeycomb here too, guys. Just saying. It looks like a weak spot, even though it's not really. So upkeep now is... yeah. Alright, that's a duo region. I also forgot to tell you guys where to place your sleeping bags. I just fill these airlocks up with them. Just like so. And I forgot to also tell you where the tier 3 goes. Just a sleeping bag there. There. Alright, tier 3 goes in here. Smack bang right in front of the tier 2. Don't need that tier 2 no more. Can still reach TC. Easy. Uh, let's show you a little trick here. Put the box underneath. Excellent. Rotate this son of a bitch. Alright. Now we've got another box underneath. Rotate again. There you go. Two boxes in there. Tier 3. Even fit a sleeping bag in there. I've also just added two shotgun traps up here as well. It's a nice spot for them, but they're pretty easy to see if you get past this one. You probably drain them from here too, but you know, they're there. You never know. 